Hey everybody, welcome in. In this video, I am going to be using AutoCAD to create a flat hook. So to get started, I'm going to um, go to my templates here. And I'm going to select the ACAD DWT template. I have my background changed to white just to get fancy. But the first thing that I always try to do is um, make sure that I'm, I'm not drawing on layer zero. So I'm going to layer properties up here. I'm going to click on the stack of papers with the yellow kind of starburst. I'm going to make a new layer. So this one I'm just going to call it object layer. Type it in all caps. I'm going to go to my color swatch. I'm going to change it to, let's say, red. For my line weight, I'm going to select like 0.3 millimeters. I'm going to select the stack of papers with a check mark so that I make that my current layer. And then I'm good there. I'm going to hit the X here to close out of this. I'm going to turn on this kind of line weight display here so that those lines stick out a little bit more prominently. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to type in the word units. Hit enter. I want to change this. So this is going to be decimal units. It's going to be, this one says dimensions are in millimeters. So I'm going to change this from inches to millimeters. For precision, I'm going to make this like 0 0.00, so let's say two decimal places. I don't want to get too precise. And I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to select my grid um, button. Just turn that thing off. I don't like that. If you watch my videos, you probably know that drives me nuts. Anyway, so to get started with the flat hook, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start drawing the circles. And it's going to kind of look like a BB-8, I noticed or a snowman when we get started. So I'm gonna to go to circle. I'm gonna start the two big circles on the bottom. So this one is gonna be center radius. I'm just gonna pick anywhere. And then for this is gonna be a radius of 62.5. Press enter. Now you're like, where'd the circle go? It's, it's, our circle is so big right now that it's, it's um, on the outside of our drawing area. So. Just gonna kind of zoom back a little bit. So there's our circle. And then I'm gonna go to create another circle with the center radius. I'm gonna look for the center of this circle here that I already have, which is here. And this is gonna have a radius of 130. And then I'm gonna zoom back a little bit more. We got kind of a donut or a tire right now. I'm gonna draw a line from the center of these circles straight up so i'm gonna turn on my ortho mode and i'm gonna go up straight up by 180 and then i'm gonna draw some more circles on top of that line so let's see i need to create a circle with a diameter so if you see a circle with like a little line through it that's the diameter symbol i'm sure you probably know that but just in case and then if you just see an R, then that tells you that that's the radius. So I'm going to go circle, center diameter. I'm going to click on the end of this line. And that's going to have a diameter of 45. I'm going to draw another circle. This one has a radius. So I'm going to use center radius. I'm going to click on the end of this line. That has a radius of 50. So there's our Star Wars BB-8 um, kind of shape. Um, yeah, and then from here, what I can do is I'm going to draw a line that's tangent from this circle here to this circle. So the way that I would do that is I'm going to go, I'm going to click on my line tool. And then where it says specify first point, I'm going to type in T-A-N. That's just abbreviation for tangent. So T-A-N, press enter. I'm going to select kind of the side of the circle here. And then for this next point, I'm going to type in T-A-N again. Not T-A-N again, but just type in T-A-N. And then press Enter. I'm going to select kind of this side of my circle here, this circle right there. So that draws a tangent line from that circle to that circle. And then to create this arc shape here, I'm going to go up to my circle option. I'm going to click on tangent, tangent radius. And then it's going to be tangent from this, say somewhere in this area, uh, part of the circle here, and then tangent to this circle here, somewhere in this area, 
Click there for the radius is going to be, what is that, 50? And then I can trim out up to trim. I don't need that part of my circle there. Hit escape. Um, so yeah, there's that part. It comes around. It's like a little hook on this side. Almost looks like Captain Hook's hand, but um, let's see what we can do here. Um, yeah, I need to offset. I'm going to go to offset. I'm going to type in 125 for my offset distance. Press enter. I'm going to select this line that we created here. And I'm going to offset it, offset it kind of to the right side of that. And just click anywhere to the right. So there's that kind of hook piece. And then I'm going to trim out a lot of the stuff that we don't need. So I'm going to go up to trim. I'm going to select this, this, this end piece here. Um, I don't need that. I don't need this or this. I don't need that. Now that's really not a trim, but if I select it, it can still, it still trimmed it anyway. So I don't need that. I don't need this line here. So I'm going to select it and hit the delete key on my keyboard to erase it. All right. So then I just need to kind of round this off. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my circle option here. I'm going to go tangent, tangent, radius. I seem to use that one a lot. Tangent, tangent, radius. So I'm going to select somewhere here on this kind of arc. That's one point. Select it. I'm going to select this line here somewhere. It's point number two. And then for my radius, I'm going to type in 25. Hit enter. And then so now I'm going to trim this little sharp piece off. I don't need that or that or that. So there is our, our hook right there. I found it interesting also that this, this um, particular exercise, actually I got this from the book that says AutoCAD 2021 tutorial, first level 2D fundamentals. I thought it was odd that it's 2D fundamentals, but yet they give you that this hook has a thickness of 25 millimeters. So without even telling you yet how to create a, a 3D kind of part, they they give you a, a thickness of 25 millimeters. But just, you know, for your information, to give this part some thickness, what you can do is, um, if you look down here at the bottom where you see the little, the, the wheel, or the gear, the gear wheel thingy, if I click that, I can click on 3D Basics. So that kind of gives us a new kind of menu ribbon up here. So if I go to my view cube and just kind of select maybe the bottom right corner of that view cube, it'll kind of flip it around like so. We're kind of looking at it kind of like a kind of a almost 3D view. So to get this some thickness, the easiest way that I, I would say is to go up to where you see the edit press pull option. Click on press pull. And just click somewhere inside this area. Don't click on the actual line. You want to click somewhere inside this kind of area and then just kind of drag it up. And so you'll see that number there. It's like right now it's at 136. So if I want my thickness to be 25 millimeters, I'm just going to type in 25 and then press enter. And it's kind of like in a wireframe kind of view right here. If you want to just kind of see it shaded, you can just type in shade and press enter. And now it kind of looks, it's kind of a 3D thick shaded part like so, but I don't think really that's necessary, but just, you know, just for your information, that's kind of how you do it. And if you want to get your, your uh, menu back to two dimensional, you go back to your gear icon here and then you go click on drafting and annotation. And then that's, that gives you back your 2d, your 2d, um, menu options. I can click on the, the view cube, the top here and kind of get that back. But, um, yeah, that's kind of how you do that. Um, so I'm going to save this. As I think I already have it once saved, but I'm going to save this as um, flat hook AutoCAD. So, yeah, again, I don't think you're going to have to necessarily make that part three-dimensional, but just in case you do or in case you want to, now you kind of know how to do it. All right, so peace out. Make sure you like and subscribe. And hope to see y'all in the next video. All right, peace.